the leaks were right. Ryzen Max is confirmed. But before I get to that, Intel and AMD just joined forces. The RTX 5090 release gets confirmed, and AMD is gearing up for their release. Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Okay, it's news time and first up for today is yet more proof of how important competition is. Both AMD and Intel are teaming up to fight ARM. This story is really wild. I mean, I'm honestly shocked more people haven't been talking about it. As you can see right here, both Intel and AMD have created an alliance to defend the x86 architecture. As you can see right here, it says, On Tuesday, the U.S. chip makers announced the partnership which involves creating an x86 advisory group. Others such as Dell, Google, HP, Meta, Microsoft, Epic Games CEO Tim Sweeney, and Linus Torvalds of the Linux Foundation will also act as founding members. As they state, the specific goals of the advisory group remain a bit broad and vague, though not necessarily, I'll get to that in just a second, but first, in Intel CEO Pat Gelsinger's kind of announcement, they said that x86 will require new levels of customization, compatibility, and scalability, while AMD CEO Lisa Su said she hopes the advisory group will pave the way for future enhancements to the chip architecture and extend the incredible success of x86 for decades to come. Now, like they said, that is fairly vague, but something that isn't vague and very interesting, at least if you ask me, is that under other goals, they include enabling compatibility across platforms and an effort to standardize interface across x86 product offerings from both Intel and AMD. All in all though, it sounds really good. Even Nvidia's own Jensen Huang touted that this is very important. And if you love being one of the first to know all the latest PC hardware news like this, make sure you subscribe to GamerMeld and hit that bell icon. And next up for today, we have a pretty big update to a story I covered not too long ago, but an even bigger reveal. As you can see right here, this one originally comes from a China-based power supply maker called Seagotep. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right, but regardless, as you can see, this right here comes from Billy Billy, where a user actually asked this. It says, the 1300 watt power supply is sold for 1600. Can it have two 16 pin connectors? What if the 5090 requires dual 16 pin? And in their answer, they state, don't worry, we've already got the data for the 5090. There's no such possibility. See you in January. So starting things off, obviously, if you saw a leak that happened not too long ago that basically claimed that the 5090 could in fact require two 16 pin connectors now i will say that this one originally came from another power supply so i'm really not sure which one is right but at least from this it sounds like it may not be the case but the biggest news here at least if you ask me is a couple places for one where it says that they've already got the data for the 5090 so the 5090 is likely coming very soon, just like we've seen with rumors, but also this confirms the 5090 is in fact what it's said to be called, and they do confirm that it is coming soon because they said see you in January, meaning all the leaks claiming that this is set for release at CES do look to be correct. And next up, while speaking about leaks being correct, as you can see right here, AMD recently set up a press event for the Ryzen 7 9800X 3D launch. This, of course, shows that even more leaks are likely correct. As you can see, it says AMD China has set up a press event to launch its new Ryzen 7 9800X 3D Zen 5 processor with 3D vCache. The company is sending out invitations, like the one pictured below, to the Chinese tech press and select PC enthusiasts. The event is slated to take place in Zhuhai, I highly doubt I pronounced that right, I apologize for that, and spans October 23rd and 24th, meaning those leaks claiming that they would ultimately announce it on October 25th are looking correct. They may even announce it slightly before that, but regardless, it looks like it is in fact coming, and as you can see right here, this is apparently what the box looks like, which means the leak not too long ago that leaked this box design was in fact correct. Ultimately, I'd say you likely want to get ready for what will probably be the best gaming CPU ever. And lastly for today, while talking the best, if you remember not too long ago, we actually got a leak from Golden Pig Upgrade Pack, that name, I swear it gets me every time, but it looks like they've proven themselves 
yet again. Once again, I actually discussed this leak a little while back where they stated that Strix Halo, which if you remember, is the upcoming monster APU with up to 40 RDNA 3.5 compute units, but he stated that that was set to be called Ryzen AI Max. Well, it looks like that is in fact correct, as it seems like AMD themselves have confirmed it. As you can see right down here, we have a leak that comes from a Zeus's official website. Now, the reason we're saying that this was leaked by AMD and not a Zeus is because what was leaked was an AMD chipset driver. And in that chipset driver, it lists Ryzen AI Max 300 series, which means yes, this leak does look to be accurate, which also means that the Ryzen AI Max Plus 395, bit of a long name, but still this thing looks really epic. We're talking a 16 core CPUs with yes, 40 RDNA 3.5 compute units. Remember, that's more GPU cores than AMD's RX 7600 XT. And in fact, it's significantly more. And yet, this is an APU, meaning this is an integrated GPU. Oh, and about those 16 cores, it's specifically 16 Zen 5 cores, meaning this bad boy is seriously set to be one beast of an APU. So while that does it for today, are you pumped for AMD's upcoming Ryzen Max? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you liked the video, please subscribe and give it a thumbs up. And as always, have a great day.